welcome back to tutorial number five. So, again to reiterate, tutorial one, setting up the board. Tutorial two, the shaking of the dice, the rules, and we started moving tackers around the board. Mm. In tutorial three, we learnt about doubles, where you can play it four times, and hitting vulnerable men on a checker. Sorry, on a point. And in tutorial four, we did bearing off. Yeah. Taking our men off, whoever gets the men off first wins the game. Yeah. Okay. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about making points. This is key, crucial to backgammon. Okay? So, when I say make a point, mm -hmm. for example, where you can have two or more checkers, where your checkers not exposed, not vulnerable, where you can get mm hit, -hmm. and to try and sabotage your opponent's men and block him in as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, a very interesting thing on the dice is, if you take the two dice, wherever there are two spaces between the dice, yeah. you, you can actually make a point. For example, one and three. You can go one, two, three, mm -hmm. and one. And one. Okay. Or, you can have a two and a four. Mm -hmm. Two spaces away. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. One, two. Yeah. Alternatively, you can have a five and a three. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And lastly, a six and a four. And a four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. And you made a subtle point. So it's quite interesting. Where if you've got two spaces away, you can make a point. Mm. Okay. So the key to making points is you want to try and block your opponent's men. Okay? You remember when you were off the board? And mm -hmm. you were unable to come onto the board mm -hmm. because I'd made points in my board. Mm -hmm. So the key to making points is you want to block your opponent's men. Yeah. So say for example one, two, three, and the one. one. Yes. So this point's hell of a crucial. We mm -hmm. call it the golden point. Mm -hmm. So already you are you're unable to move one, two, three, four because it's blocked. Mm -hmm. And I can't one, move five. two, three, four, five is blocked. I'll have to roll a six. You've got to roll a six, or say for example a one, two, three. And then start moving around the board. Mm. Okay? So it's very crucial to make as many points in sequence as you can. Okay. In order to block your opponent and submit your opponent. So, roll two dots, for example. Two points with spaces between. Okay. So six and three. Okay, but having done that, it's a vulnerable. You make me vulnerable. Yes. So, if you are unable to make a point on this particular number, what you would do, you would come say one, two, three, mm -hmm. okay, and you could even play one, two, three, four, five, six over here. Mm -hmm. Even though this is vulnerable at the moment, it can be hit with a six. But at least if I don't hit you, you 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 get to make a point here. Mm -hmm. Or you might roll, say, for example, a 5-1, 1-2-3-4-5-1, mm -hmm. you're making a point here, mm -hmm. and you'll start blocking me in. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you don't have to roll a perfect 3-1-4-2-5-3 mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. make a point. Mm -hmm. for, if I roll, say, for example, a 3 and a 2, okay, I could pretty much come 1-2-3, 1-2, with the, the aim of making a point and to try and stop mm. blocking you in. Mm, mm. Okay. Now the advantage of having a point, there's three advantages to making points. So for example, I'll roll a six and a one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Mm. Okay. <coughs> now there's quite a few advantages to this. Firstly, I'm starting to block you in. One, two, three, four, five mm -hmm. doesn't play. Six doesn't play. Mm -hmm. And seven doesn't play. Mm -hmm. So already I'm starting to block you in. Mm. Secondly, say for example, I roll a four and a two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Mm -hmm. At any stage, I hit you during the game. So for example, you make a, a man vulnerable and I hit you. For the rest of the game, while you're on the bar, your sixes and your fours are going to be blocked. Mm. Okay, that's another reason to 
for making a good point. Yeah. And the other reason is, say for example, I roll the six and the one, and I'm coming around, it's a landing spot for me. Yeah. So if I roll, say for example, a six and a four, I can already go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I've got a safe landing spot. So later towards the end of the game, it's easier for me to get my men on the homeboard. On the homeboard and away from your your checkers that you can't hit me. Mm. Because if you hit me, I'm gonna have to come all the way around. Yeah, yeah. So alternatively, ideally what you want to do is you want to say make a six and a, a one. Maybe bring a, a, a three and a two down, say a four, a six and a two, a six and a two, and start blocking these minions. Mm. We want to submit these men. Okay. That's my motive, and you want to submit my men. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Just, now, the last thing I, I just want to go through in this tutorial is very often you've got a choice whether to make points in your outer board. Mm -hmm. or inside your home board. Mm -hmm. Okay? So let's say for example, I'll, I'll roll a 3 and a 2. Mm. Okay. <coughs> so, I, so I come down with the intention of making points to try and block your minion. Yeah. Okay. So now I roll, say for example, a 6 and a 1. Okay, now I've got two options. I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Blocking your five, sixes, and sevens, like we discussed. My other option is, I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, and make this point in my home board. Okay, where I'm blocking your four, your five, and your seven. Uh -huh. Whenever you get a choice to make a point in your outer board, in your home board, Always make the points in your home board. Mm. Okay? The reason being, again, if I hit you during the game, mm. so now I've blocked your five and your six. Yeah. If it were like this, and I hit you, I've now blocked your three, your five, and your six. Yeah. Okay? In the beginning of the game, it's not so, it's not so critical. Because, say I hit you, for example, and you've got to come around, but you're not going to back to get onto my board. Mm. Only double six. One, two, three, four, five, six won't come onto my board. So, but when it becomes a situation, say like this, for example, and I've blocked your one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and it be making it almost impossible for you to to come around, that's what I need to try and achieve, and that's what you need to try and achieve at the same time. You understand? Hmm. So always, if you've got the option to make a point in your home board, make a point in your home board. In your outer board, I suggest you make a point in your home board. Okay, mm. so pretty much in this tutorial, it's, this is a hell of importance, making points, making the right points, try and make your points in sequence, try mm. and block your opponent, try and step it towards, try and squeeze the air out of his mm. neck, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I understand you. So you've got a 3 and one right now. 3 and one's a great first roll. So how would, how would I approach that? What's your objective? To block me in? My, yeah. Okay. So let's say you played one, a 1 and a 1, 2, 3. Mm. You're not really achieving much. I'm vulnerable to both points. So what would be your best move? So Remember you, what I said to you? If it's two spaces apart on the dice, mm. that would help you. It'll so help you make Wouldn't it point. be better to go 1, 2, 3? Mm -hmm. And then one. And one. Yes. Now you're blocking my fours, my fives, and my sevens. Yes. Okay. I understand what you're saying. If you didn't roll a perfect four one, so for example, uh, a three and a two. So what you, what you could do is you could start a point here mm -hmm. with the intention of making the point. You might get hit. Not mm -hmm. too critical at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Alternatively, you can come down one, two, and say one, two, three. With so then the, you have too far to hit me. <coughs> well, I can hit you with a 9 or a 10, as it happens. Mm. Okay. But, if I don't hit you, if I do hit you, it's not so critical. Mm. Because I've got nothing on my board yet. Yeah. But, besides not being, you're probably not going to get hit. But if you, if you were hit, it's not critical. Yeah. But if you, your intention is 
you want to use these checkers to make points here, here, and here mm. to make it more difficult for me to come out. Oh, okay. You see, so yeah. you roll any other number. So before you roll, I'll tell you right now, you're going to make something here. Okay, for one. So, already you can start blocking me in. One, two, three, four, and a one. Then you're blocked. Now you've got my five, sixes, and sevens blocked. Mm. You see, you're always playing with a game plan. Yeah. So when you bring your checkers down, or when you're starting a point or whatever, your objective is to block in as much as possible. Yeah. So if your next roll, for example, was six, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Now you've got me blocked. I can't play one, two, three, mm -hmm. or five, or six, or seven. Yeah. And if you hit me at any point during the game, I'm more vulnerable. I can't come on a four. I can't come on a six. So I have to roll a one, two, three, or five before I can start coming around again. Oh. Into my home board, bearing off, taking the checkers off. Okay. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, no, I get it. And that's pretty much making points. Yeah. Just to repeat once more, if you've got a, if you've got the option of making a point in your outer board or home board, I strongly recommend you make the point in your home board. Mm.